Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Jerry and about six months ago, I decided to DCA into the technology sector of the stock market by purchasing the technology ETF VGT every single day. This is known as dollar cost averaging and I started buying $25 every day and then after four months, upped it to $35 every day. The key is consistency and no matter what, I bought every single day. It doesn't matter if the markets were up, down, or if some new war broke out somewhere in the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and break down the magic of dollar cost averaging or DCA. Imagine you're on a boat in choppy waters. That's the stock market for you. Now, DCA is like setting a steady course, navigating through the ups and downs with a consistent strategy. It's about investing a fixed amount into a particular stock or ETF, in our case VGT, at regular intervals, be it daily, weekly, or monthly. The beauty of this, it's all about reducing the impact of market volatility. When prices are high, your fixed amount buys fewer shares, and when they dip, you get more for your money. Over time, this can average out the cost per share that you own, potentially lowering the total average cost of your investment. DCA isn't just a financial strategy, it's a psychological one too. It encourages discipline, helping you stay the course and not get swayed by market hysteria. Think of it as a commitment to your future self, investing regularly regardless of whether the market is hitting record highs or alarming lows. This approach is especially appealing for beginners or those looking to invest without the stress of timing the market. Plus, it's a solid way to build up your investment over time, harnessing the power of compounding. By sticking to a consistent investment schedule, you're essentially putting your investment journey on autopilot, focusing on long-term growth rather than short-term fluctuations. Selecting VGT as the ETF of choice wasn't a random decision. It was a strategic move tailored for those who are bullish on technology. VGT, or the Vanguard Information Technology ETF, is like a powerhouse of tech stocks, offering some exposure to some of the biggest names in the industry. This ETF isn't about casting a wide net over the entire market. It's laser focused on tech, which historically has been one of the most rapidly growing sectors. What does this mean for investors? By putting your money into VGT, you're essentially betting on the You're investing in a segment of the market that's known for its growth, its disruptive potential, and yes, its volatility. But with great risk can come great reward, especially if you believe in the long-term potential of technology like I do. And VGT stands out because of its composition. It's not just about having tech stocks, it's about having the right ones. This ETF is packed with industry leaders like Apple, Microsoft, and Nvidia, companies that are at the forefront of technological advancement. These are the companies driving trends, from cloud computing to AI to the next big thing we haven't even heard of yet. Investing in VGT means you're getting a piece of these tech titans along with a diversified mix of other tech players, big and small. It's a tech-centric investment approach designed for those who are confident about the tech sector's role in shaping our future. And let's not forget, with tech becoming increasingly integral to every aspect of our lives, from work to entertainment, investing in a tech-heavy ETF like VGT could position you right at the heart of future growth. Let's dive into the top 10 holdings of the Vanguard Information Technology ETF to showcase just how formidable this ETF really is. We're talking about a collection of tech giants that have shown remarkable performance. Check this out. Apple, a tech behemoth leading the charge with an impressive 38% growth over the past year. Microsoft, not far behind, boasting a 66% increase. Their continuous innovation keeps them at the forefront. Nvidia, now here's a personal favorite. This powerhouse has skyrocketed by 211%. It's not just about graphics cards. Their expansion into AI and deep learning is phenomenal. Broadcom, with a 114% uptick, they're a key player in the semiconductor space, essential for today's tech. Adobe, known for creativity, but their stocks are just as artistic, painting a 65% rise. Salesforce, revolutionizing CRM, they've climbed a solid 79% in the last year. AMD, another semiconductor star, accelerating by 125%. Accenture, a global professional services titan, up by 37%, showing steady growth. Intel, they're more than just processors. With a 67% increase, they're proving their mettle in the evolving tech landscape. 
Cisco rounding out our list with a 12% rise, a testament to their enduring presence in network technology. Each of these companies plays a pivotal role in the tech sector, and their growth reflects in VGT's performance. It's not just about the numbers, it's the innovation. It's not just about the numbers, it's the innovation and market impact these companies bring to the table. In my investment journey with VGT, the approach has been anything but static. For the initial four months, I committed $25 every day to this tech-centric ETF. This consistent investment provided a unique perspective on market dynamics, allowing me to witness firsthand how a steady, disciplined approach can accumulate over time. Each day, those $25 either grabbed a bigger slice of the tech pie when prices dipped or a smaller one during market highs. It was a practical display of dollar cost averaging and action, giving me a front row seat to the effects of market fluctuations on my investment. After four months, I shifted gears, increasing my daily investment to $35. This adjustment wasn't just about changing the investment amount. It was a strategic move to deepen my stake in a sector brimming with innovation and growth potential. This increase reflects an evolving strategy, adapting to market conditions and personal financial goals. It's been fascinating to observe how this change has impacted my VGT holdings, providing a richer understanding of how varying investment amounts can influence overall portfolio growth. This journey is a testament to the importance of flexibility and responsiveness in investment strategies. As I continue this path, it's clear that investing in VGT is not just a static, set it and forget it plan. It's a dynamic process, one that requires adaptability, patience, and a keen eye on the ever evolving tech landscape. Some of you have asked how it's possible to invest in VGT, which trades around $500 per share with just $25 or $35 daily. This is through fractional shares, a feature I use on my Webull account. It's a straightforward process, and for those interested, I've explained it in my earlier video titled, I'm investing $25 per day into this, watch what happens. Webull is definitely my platform of choice for its ease of use and accessibility, and setting up daily buys is really easy. A key perk is their promotional offer, where by depositing any amount, even as little as one cent, you're eligible to receive up to 75 free fractional shares, each valued between three and $3,000. Additionally, I use Webull for their 5% interest rate on cash balances and the interest I'm earning covers my daily VGT stock purchases, making my investment essentially free. The great part about this method is its affordability. Investing a few dollars every day now, let's dive into the tangible outcomes of my six month VGT investment journey and see how it stacks up against the broader market represented by the S&P 500. The numbers are in and they're speaking volumes. My VGT holdings have climbed an impressive 13.62%, a clear testament to the strength of this tech-centric ETF in the current market climate. My average cost is currently $447.11 and VGT is trading at $509. This performance is particularly impressive when compared against the S&P 500's growth, which clocks in at 6.59% over the same period. What does this disparity tell us? It's a vivid illustration of the tech sector's outperformance compared to the broader market. VGT's focus on technology giants, companies that are continually pushing the boundaries of innovation and growth. This focus has paid off, giving my portfolio a significant edge over the more diversified approach of the S&P 500. This comparison between VGT and the S&P 500 isn't just about celebrating short-term gains. It's about understanding the implications of targeted investment strategies in dynamic market sectors. The fact that VGT's growth more than doubles that of the S&P 500 is a strong indicator of the potential in tech-focused investments, especially in an era where technology and artificial intelligence is increasingly dominating every aspect of our lives and economy. But it's not just about the past six months. The real question is the sustainability of this trend. Given the relentless pace of technological innovation and the sector's growing influence, I'm betting on VGT's continued outperformance. This isn't just optimism. It's a belief grounded in the sector's track record and its fundamental role in driving future economic growth. Investing isn't just a six-month sprint. It's more like a marathon that spans years, even decades. As we zoom out from the impressive six-month performance of VGT against the S&P 500, it's crucial to set our sights on the long-term horizon. Why? Because investing, especially in a sector as dynamic as technology, is about understanding and riding the waves of innovation and growth over an extended period of time. 
The tech sector, with its constant evolution and breakthroughs, presents a unique landscape. It's not just about catching the current trends, it's about being part of the journey as new technologies emerge and reshape our world. The key here is patience and the willingness to stay. The key here is patience and the willingness to stay invested through the market's inevitable ups and downs. Looking ahead, the strategy with VGT is clear. Stay the course. This is not about resting on the laurels of a successful six-month stint. It's about maintaining a disciplined investment approach with an eye on the evolving tech landscape. The rationale is straightforward. Technology is not just a sector. It's the backbone of future economic growth and innovation. As we progress into an era where tech integrates deeper into every facet of life, from AI and cloud computing to renewable energies and beyond, staying invested in VGT is more than just a financial decision. It's a vote of confidence in the sector's potential to continue driving forward, reshaping industries and creating new market opportunities. This long-term vision is about being part of that transformative journey, leveraging the compounding effect of time and continued investment in a sector that stands at the forefront of progress. As we wrap up this deep dive into the VGT investment strategy, it's clear that this journey is about much more than just percentages and profit margins. It's a vivid illustration of how strategic, disciplined investing can lead to significant gains, especially in a high potential sector like technology. But the real takeaway here is about the journey itself. Investing is a continuous process of learning, adapting, and growing with the market. It's about making informed decisions, understanding the implications of your investment choices, and staying committed to your long-term financial goals. This journey with VGT has not just been about watching numbers grow. It's been a practical lesson in the power of consistent investing in a sector that's shaping our future. I'm committed to this strategy for the long haul, aiming for 10 to 20 years. This six-month update is just the beginning, and I anticipate continued profits as we progress on this journey. Now, I turn the spotlight to you. What's your take on investing in tech-heavy ETFs like VGT? Are you already on a similar path or are you considering it? Let's build a community where we can share insights, learn from each other, and grow together. Remember, investing isn't a solitary journey. It's a shared experience where insights, tips, and encouragement can go a long way. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and join in the conversation. And for free stock opportunities, click the Weeble link in the description to open an account and get up to 75 free stocks. Join my Patreon for access to trade alerts and swing trades on my Discord and connect with a community focused on financial freedom. To stay updated, including the 12-month and potential two-year VGT updates, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'm Jerry, sharing my journey and story.